Hey guys, Burgers here. Uh, just going to show you how to uh, set up the um, SLI option in the NVIDIA control panel. Um, I have the uh, EVGA G GTX 550 Ti uh, free performance boost something option. So anyway, um, you will open up your control panel. Um, then you go into configure SLI um, down here uh, w once you have your uh, cards enabled or in installed I mean um, you come into here and it'll, it will say um, disabled then it will look like this if you only have two um, so uh, you know card one card two and right now it's showing your monitor is only running off uh, card one so all you have to do is click maximize 3D performance. Um, it'll say SL enabled. Uh, you hit apply, and you are ready to go. Um, it's that simple. Um, the video, um, it's gonna be the same video, but after this, I'll show you the uh, the uh, performance test um, with a uh, single graphics card uh, versus the SLI. So, uh, check it out. Hey guys, Burgers here. Um, pretty much show uh, the update of the uh, graphics card. I got another GTX 550 Ti. Um, it's made by EVGA. Uh, it's, it's an okay mid-range card, but here are the uh, specs for the I ran the 3D uh, what's it called 3D Mark Vantage um, to get a, a benchmark this is the first one for some reason I don't get this right here it says your score is low compared to similar systems but when you go to it I actually have higher on these on the first two than the CPU score is a little bit lower than um, my target score or whatever so understand why it's low but um, I updated the drivers when I put the second card in so we'll go through this um, pretty much tell me what I have here uh, i7 2600k G4 GTX number of cards it says one because I didn't have uh, SNL on SLI enabled because I wanted to, uh, you know, show the difference. But down here, um, when I did it, when I did the uh, benchmark, graphic score of ten thousand, or you know, almost eleven thousand. But anyway, uh, we'll go here. The frames per second. The Jane Nash, which is, I, it's whatever they use. It's the first video they use for doing the graphics test. 33.58 frames per second and the new calico is 30.45 um, all this stuff right here the uh, AI test and the uh, physics test those were about the same on on both tests so those didn't change too much so you can see all the parameters I had set up I'm using the free version of 3d uh, mark vantage or whatever the hell it's called um, so I couldn't actually do it to 1920 by 1080 which my monitor is. So anyway, that's the um, the parameters or settings I had set up. So if we go over here, let's see, I'll drag this out into a new window. So we go over here. Um, this is test two. You can see from test one, it actually went up by almost twice. Went from twelve thousand to, and went from twelve five to twenty one one. So, and this test over here, the second test was with the uh, SLI enabled. So you can see now it says uh, number of cards to cross or SLI on. Um, I haven't overclocked the the graphics cards yet. Um, not sure that I'm going to until I get a, a more. Um, uh, how should I say it? A, a game that requires more. But right now, this is good enough for me. 
I'm actually playing uh, War Rock and it stays. It's um, actually, let's see here. Um, it's not in there, it's in here. Fraps, benchmarks. Uh, this is when I was playing War Rock, so. I think it's going to pull up Excel, yep. So you can see it was. 81 was. I don't mind 81, but you can see it stayed up around 140 the whole time. 138, 141. I guess that's what it's maxing out at. Then here's the uh, the min, max, and um, median or average or whatever you want to call it. So 107 minimum on a. It's not a really. It's not a high uh, graphics game, but I turned everything on uh, that I could possibly turn on and made it the best it could be. So 107 is pretty good. Uh, the max was 148. Average 120 frames per second. And to my understanding, anything over 60 frames per second, um, the human eye uh, cannot tell. So that's what my understanding is. I always thought it was around like 24, 25 is what the when the human eye stops um, differentiating or uh, telling the difference between um, frames. You know, telling a frame rate, but. I heard it was 24, heard it was 30, heard it was 60, so I don't know what it actually is. So, <clears throat> we'll go back to the uh, the benchmark. As you can see here, the the Jane Nash uh, benchmark, it actually almost doubled. Then the, uh, the Calico one, it almost doubled also. So, you can see the operations are pretty much the same. Um, I haven't overclocked a processor yet, <clears throat> so I could probably get those scores bumped up a little higher um, uh, with overclocking the CPU, but I have not. Then uh, right here, the processor clock is 35. I did not run a test to see what is if Turbo Boost actually kicked in. I'm not sure if I have it enabled or not. I think I may have disabled it because I was going to overclock it, but I did not. Um, so I'll have to go back and check that. But as you can see, the uh, the graphics score um, went from that almost doubled to. So you can see the, uh, the that running an SLI is a huge difference. Um, on the uh, war on the war rock, I did not test it with the rate with a, a single uh, graphics card. So, but the nice thing about uh, Nvidia. Um, is you go here to the NVIDIA dashboard or control panel you can actually disable SLI and just run one then you can choose what's uh, what card you want to run the uh, the PsychX setting so I have it on auto select so it's recommended so that's why I put it on then I guess it's running it on uh, the second graphics card but it's pretty cool. I mean, right here, they it actually shows you that you know their bridge. It gives you an actual like a visual telling you what it is, which is nice. Then, um, uh, what else do I got here? Uh, cancel. No. All right. You can see I got it set on, uh, or it's set to the quality over performance. Then resolution, 1920 by 1080. Uh, I think that's all on here. I don't have any glasses for the 3D, so I haven't tried it yet. So I don't know if I'm going to get glasses for it. But set in the, uh, if you look here, if you set it up, if you're on the wizard, it actually gives you options of what glasses you're going to choose. As a, you know, Discover glasses, Pro Hub, Wired, whatever, all this stuff. So I might uh, try to find me some of those red and blue glasses to to see if I can um, see if it'll work it says it'll work in the, the 3D uh, underneath the game uh, I don't think it's got War Rock in here but I know it has Call of Duty uh, War Rock nope it does not have it so uh, it does have the Call of Duties uh, I think it has all of them I believe
Yep, so. Um, I might try it one day. Not sure. So. But as far as, uh, you know, running uh, SLI graphic cards or, or dual SLI, it's, you can see it's a big advantage over running one, but <clears throat> as far as running two, I don't, I don't know what the, you know, if you have a high-end graphics card or like three, four, five hundred dollars, if if it would be the same as running a dual. You know, these cards only cost 130, 140 bucks a piece. So, I mean, it's, I think it'd be the better way to go unless you're running some extreme uh, game that requires a lot of. Uh, you know, uh, demand out of the graphics card. And, uh, the other thing I did not test yet is the, um, the temperature of the graphics card when I was running the test. Uh, so, I can't tell you what that is, but it doesn't seem like they're, they're, uh, I'm sure they're maxed out, but I don't know what the temperatures are, is what I'm trying to say. But anyway, uh, that's a graphics card. Um, uh, in between these videos, I'll show, uh, or on this video, I'll show a uh, an actual picture of them set up in there, or, or a video of me setting them up. Uh, that might go in the next video, though. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you.